Hi, um, so I'm trying out this keto diet uh, cookbook, which I ordered off of Amazon. I've been keto on and off for the last year or so, um, and I've sort of dived back into it, and so I'm now two weeks into keto. So I'm going through this book, and I just kind of want to record um, what I think about it. So for today, I'm making the ultimate keto bread. Um, so first off, it asks for macadamia nuts. I don't have any macadamia nuts, so I'm substituting that with some almond flour. Um, so I'm going to prepare this, and I'm going to bake it, and then I'll give you my review about what I thought about it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got this almond flour from Amazon. I got this one from Aldi, the coconut flour. I'm using some pastured egg white powder. That's my psyllium husk, bicarbonate of soda, cream of tartar. Um, yeah, and this is the recipe that we're going to be making. 150 grams of almond flour, 30 grams of coconut flour, 50 grams of pastured egg white protein powder. This is unflavored. 80 grams of psyllium husk. One teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. One teaspoon of salt. Mix. Four eggs, separate the yolks and the egg whites. Four egg yolks and four egg whites, and also two egg whites. 300 ml of water. The recipe actually calls for macadamia nuts, but because I've substituted with almond flour, I have to add an extra 60 ml of water. So that was 240 plus 60, which gives us 200 and, which gives us 300 ml. Of water. Mix water and egg yolks until well combined. Preheat oven to 175. Whip the six egg whites until they are soft. Add in two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Second teaspoon of cream of tartar. Yeah, I feel like that's forming peaks. That should do. That's the whipped eggs, egg yolk mixture, and my dry ingredients. Okay, now we have to add the dry ingredients to the egg yolk mixture. And mix. Okay. So this is what the mixture looks like. It's very weird. Mm. Okay, and then you have to add these. And then incorporate them. And by folding them in. And sort of fold them in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this is what it's looking like now that I've incorporated the egg whites. Um, this doesn't look like a dough to me, but the instructions say to now put the dough into my loaf tin, which I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, if you're used to baking with flour, this looks very strange, but we'll have to see how it turns out. So this is my loaf tin with the baking parchment. I'm going to decant that into there. Okay, so I've put it into the loaf tin and I've used my spatula to... Um, smooth it down. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. The instructions don't say anything. And now I have to bake this for 60 minutes in 175 um, things. So, here we go. Going into 175 degree oven. Here we go. And that. And set my timer. This particular recipe doesn't have a picture with it, so I won't be able to compare what it looks like. But the next page has got a uh, sunflower bread, so I expect it should look something like this. But yep, we will check soon. It's left, and I'm just going to check because it's smelling a bit. Ooh, hello. So I put a skewer through, and it was clear, even though it still had five minutes to go. So I got the cake, uh, the bread out. Here's what it looks like um, up close. It's a little bit on the grainy side because of the almond flour. It smells very eggy. It smells very eggy. So here's what it looks like now. This is my very first ever keto bread. It feels very heavy. Okay, so here it is. It feels heavier than what I'd expect a wheat-made loaf of bread to feel. Um, I would, I'm going to try this in a bit. I don't feel hungry right now. And as you know, one of the hallmarks of keto is you only eat when you're hungry. So this is going to be my meal for when I have my next meal. Interesting. I like to keep my keto bread. This is my freezer, All right? And I have the bread pre-sliced. So I sliced it up and then I froze it single layer and then I just packed it in here. And whenever I feel peckish or I want to eat something that's ketoic, just I pop it in the toaster, press it on frozen. Uh, put some salted butter and it's a fantastic snack. So this is how I store my keto bread.